Jackie Chan's action comedy grossed $1.7 billion when it first opened. At this time, Jackie Chan was 63 years old. Archaeologist Jack played by Jackie Chan is telling the story of Wang Zuantz to the students. Wang Zuantz once visited India in history. One person destroyed one country, and his whereabouts were unknown due to climate reasons. His treasures also disappeared from the eyes of the world. On this day, while Jack was teaching the students, Dr. Lisa came to visit suddenly. Assistant teacher Chen Guang was obsessed with Dr. Lisa's beauty. Lisa came here this time for Wang Zuan's lost treasure. He brought a treasure map and asked China to help restore it in her spare time. Lisa goes to practice yoga with Chen Guang and Zhao Mei. Jack made them a hearty breakfast, and he was very energetic doing handstands on stakes. Although a little dizzy after exercising, Jack showed himself in front of Lisa and the students. Together they went to find Jones, Jack's friend's son. Jones' father researched the Wang Zuan's lost treasure for over 20 years and Jones now inherits it. They work together to find the treasure ruins after arriving at the snow-capped mountains. They searched for the possible path Wang Zuan's might have taken and the place where he ended up staying based on the treasure map. Finally, they determined the location under a glacier. Unfortunately, the equipment was not professional enough. So Jack asked his friends to come to help, and drilled a big hole to reach the destination. Just when everything was going smoothly, a group of uninvited guests appeared outside the camp, and before they had time to report. They were taken aside by those people, the underground Jack and his party were still looking at the scene in front of them, used the camera to completely preserve the scene at that time, including the remains of the soldiers at that time. On the other side, Lisa's assistant is planing a pillow, there are a total of 13 chests of gold here, before they had time to be happy, a gun was suddenly put on Chen Guang's head, Chen Guang pointed the gun upwards nimbly, with a gunshot, the entire cave began to shake, and the ice cubes fell rapidly, there are 13 chests of gold in the underground ice cave, a group of people fought over the gold, Xiao Qi used a pillow to slam Randall's fist into his crotch, Randall stopped suddenly, looked at the pillow, and found a diamond bigger than a fist inside, Jones tossed the pillow out, fearing Randall would snatch it, a group of people scramble for diamonds, it's a pity that none of those people were Jones' opponents. Zhao Qi greedily looked at the huge diamond in his hand, ran to the entrance, returned to the ground, snatched a motorcycle and fled first, but Jack and his party were not so lucky, they would freeze to death. So they decided to dive back to the surface from the glacier. Lisa wants to teach Jack yoga the key avoidance technique. Let the breath move up the spine. From the perineum to the third eye, let your lungs fill with air. Not really. I'll do it my own way. Jack took a deep breath and plunged into the icy water, followed by Lisa. Finally, Jack couldn't hold his breath and was dragged back to the ground by Lisa. Jack's stomach was pressed out a lot of water. After several people were rescued, Jack received a message from the police at the hospital. Those treasures were intercepted by the Chinese police. Chen Guang suddenly took out the tablet and put it in front of Jack. After Jones took the diamond, it was auctioned in Dubai. But what he doesn't know is that this diamond is the key to another treasure. Jack and his group came to Dubai, and with the help of friends, they went to the auction site and finally bought it at a price of 160 million. As soon as he got the diamond, a group of men in black came to snatch it. But Jack's two fists are no match for four hands. The man in black picked up the diamond and ran away, handing it to their boss. Jack got into a car and chased after him. Unexpectedly, there was a lion in the car, and Jack was so frightened that he didn't dare to breathe. Jack and Jones flanked each other, and Jones jumped up to grab the diamond. Just when Jack and Jones were about to flee, a motorcycle sped up and snatched the diamonds, and the driver was Lisa. The car finally stopped, and everyone got out of the car to rest, because of the bumps along the way. The lion fell to the ground when he got off the car, seeing that the police were about to arrive. Several people drove away quickly. Little boy climbs to the top of the suspended rope. Suddenly, a man climbed up to avoid being chased and killed, and the people supporting him looked at a loss. After shaking it a few times, the little boy at the top of the stick fell straight down. Fortunately, Jones reacted quickly and caught him, they had just arrived in India, ready to continue searching for Wang Zuan's lost treasure, but they were hunted down as soon as they got off the plane, fighting directly in the magic world of India. Although it had a slight upper hand at the beginning, there were so many enemies, Jones and Lisa's sister was taken away by bad guys, Jack and Lisa came to save their friends with diamonds, the villain is the one who snatches the diamond, Randall. A descendant of the Indian aristocracy, Randall threatens Jack to help him find the treasure, otherwise Jones and his sister, who are locked in the coyote den, will not be released, Chen Guang took advantage of the bad guy's departure. Go alone to save people, climb up the wooden frame and pull up the cage. Several people huddled with the coyote, climbed up the wall with the help of Chen Guang's body and pulled Chen Guang up together. Jack and his party came to the other half of the treasure land and looked at the scene in front of them. Jack inserted the diamond scepter, found the switch of the entrance with the help of the light and the lotus pattern on the ground rose. Jack went down a few feet and the entrance opened and Jack and Lisa fell into the hole together. They came to the side road with the help of vines. Randall walked down the stairs, letting Jack go first, followed by the crowd. 
They went to the end and found a palace built of gold. Randall and others walked in greedily, looking at the gold gems and wanting them. Jack and Randall hurriedly stopped. Suddenly, they all looked in one direction, where there was a huge golden Buddha statue, all bowed. Randall asked his subordinates to open the treasure chest, but unexpectedly it was full of bamboo slips. They were shocked, and it was full of worthless things. Jack and Lisa hurriedly stopped them from throwing around, picked up the bamboo slips on the ground, and told Randall that these were the treasures, but Randall was still not convinced. At this time, Jones and others rushed here, and a battle was inevitable. Jack also tried to influence Randall. The sea of bitterness has no bounds. Turn your head to see the shore. Jack dragged Lisa and beat him while running. Seeing Lisa being chased by Randall, Jack hurried to catch up and started fighting with Randall. Jack was clearly outnumbered by Randall, all due to his firm belief. If you kick my legs again, the girl dies. Don't kick him. Before the fight was over, a group of monks came here and saluted Jack and others, looking at the holy scene in front of them. Jack and his party bowed to the Buddha statue together again. At this time Randall finally enlightened and danced here happily together.